everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to crochet these really simple granny hearts. If you love all things crochet and are passionate about the craft then you have come to the right place. Hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of my future crochet videos. All right, let's leap straight into how you crochet the granny heart. You can make these as big or as small as you like. All the information for the yarns I've used and the hook sizes is in the description box below. So don't forget to click that show more button to expand that box where you'll find all the information down there. So for my granny heart, I'm going to be using a chunky variegated yarn and a slightly too large hook purely so you can see exactly what I am doing. So the granny heart is based off a two round standard granny square. So you're free to crochet your two rounds of granny squares however you prefer to do it. I'm gonna show you how I do mine. I like to start with a magic ring and chain three, which counts as my first double crochet. If you don't know how to do a magic ring or indeed the double crochet stitch, I do have videos on how to do both of those things and they are linked to in the description box below. So with my magic ring and my chain three, which as I said counts as my first double crochet, I'm gonna go ahead and pop two more double crochet stitches into that center ring. So that forms my very first granny cluster. Now chain three. And pop three more double crochet into that center ring. If at any point I'm going too fast for you, you can slow the speed of the video. Use the little cog icon on desktop, or if you're on your mobile, three little dots in the right hand corner of your screen. Chain three. Pop three more double crochet into this magic ring. Chain three. And place three more double crochet into that magic ring. Chain three. And now we're going to join with a slip stitch to the top of that original chain three you did right at the beginning of the round. So these are the two double crochet stitches and this here by my thumb is the top of the chain three. If you can't find it, don't worry too much, just sort of aim for the top. You can go ahead and pull that magic ring closed at the back now. Don't forget you will need to weave this tail from the magic ring in afterwards. Now we want to creep along to this corner here. So I'm just going to place a slip stitch underneath the top of these two double crochets here. So I'm just going to slip stitch underneath the Vs of those stitches. With this variegated yarn, you can really clearly see where my stitches are going. Then I'm going to slip stitch into this chain three space, ready to begin the second round. For round two, we're going to start in a very similar fashion and chain three, which counts as our very first double crochet, and then pop two more double crochet into this same chain three space. chain three and place three more double crochet into that exact same chain three space here. This forms your first corner. Now we're going to leap straight into doing 
three more corner sections that'll be worked into these chain three spaces from the round below. So into each of these chain three spaces, we're going to put three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet, all into that same chain three space to form another corner. So we've formed another corner and we're going to repeat this section in the last two remaining corner spaces. So three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet. So at the end of round two, you should have a square with four corners. Now, just like in that first round, I'm going to join with a slip stitch to the top of the chain three. And slip stitch under the next two double crochet stitches, so just under the top of them. We're creeping our way back to that corner space again. Then end with a slip stitch into this chain three space. So you're in the corner, ready to start turning this square into a heart. All right, so we are in the corner, ready to begin round three. So chain one, which does not count as a stitch, and we're going to work into this space here in between the granny clusters. So this is the corner where you are now. This is the other corner here. We're working into this gap here. Now into this gap here, we're going to place 12 treble crochet. Now I'm using American terms and a treble crochet is yarn over twice before you go into the space. So once you've yarned over twice, go into that space, yarn over at the back, come back through, and you will have four loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through another two loops, and then yarn over, pull through the final two loops. So we want 12 treble crochet in total. That was my first one. Now to do 11 more, all working into this same space in between the clusters. If you find you're running out of room, you can scoot your stitches around to crush them more in there. So I've got seven, I need 12.
So that's my 12th treble crochet, all made into that space there. So it'll be fanning right out. Now, slip stitch into the chain three space of the next corner. So just slip stitch straight into there. And you're anchoring that side of the heart down. Now into this gap here, so if you look at your square, let me pull it out to the square again. You've got your corner spaces here and here. We're going to be working into this side cluster here. So the next space along here, not the corner, on the side. And in there, again, we're going to place 12 treble crochet. So work 12 treble crochet straight off into that side space. Once you have your 12 treble crochet into the next chain three space in the next corner, pop a slip stitch. Then chain one, leave yourself a length of yarn to work with. So you've got a decent tail for weaving in. Snip that yarn, pull that through, pull it tight. Then you can weave in your ends the back so we've got your end from the magic circle and you've got your end from this heart and you're good to go so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to do the very simple granny heart let me know what you think of it in the comments section down below i do my best to try and get back to every single one of you and i thoroughly enjoy reading what you guys have to say so until next time Happy granny heart making.